YouTube, Volume 2 of 2018 Tamaya RC Catalog. As you see, this is what they had on the front, and here's what they had on the back. <coughs> I think this one came with uh, lights. It came with a light kit. And at that time, they came back out with the 192.5 liter 16 Evo 2 Team Zack Speed Debus, or Debus, as you see. Sorry, I'm having, hoping that I can, let's see, I don't know if I'm getting this right. Uh, let's see if I can. Get it higher. Uh, trying to use another little table here. Uh, oh, that's better for you. Okay, I'm going to have to be lifting it off the leg here uh, when I turn pages. So, as you see here, this is what they had out. And they just came out with the Yaris Rally Car. This little guy has like 380 horsepower in real life. This uh, Gazoo Racing uh, Rally Car. throwback uh, Formula One car here, the F104W chassis, has the foam tires and everything, a 70s superstar as they called it, the 312 T3, so you know as you see it's a Ferrari, and here are some more Ferraris under there, of the TAO, the TTO2 and the TTO2D and the TAO6 models of the Ferraris they had. And here, they had the TB05 Pro chassis kit. I'm sure this kit costs uh, 500 bucks at the time, because all that new stuff on it and TRF stuff, probably around there. As I say, it came back. And we got, as you see here, you can change the position of the motor. You could either have it towards the front or towards the rear. See? And here <coughs> was King Yellow. And it's a painted body, of course. I don't think you know, guys. Familiar with the G601s? And then we have the tanks. This is the new tank. This is a World War One tank. Uh, I remember seeing these in old uh, documentaries about World War One and the tanks at that time. 
it's when mechanization of uh, world war world wars uh, would be fought they started mechanizing things they got cars at the time and they just brought out a tank General Patton famous for World War II he was in World War One, and Americans had some of these too I think There is, these are a uh, 1 16th scale, except for these on this side of the other pages. Oh, one of them was 1 25th, two are 1 25th, and one is 1 35th scale. But they're RC, RC, cap, uh, RC cars, RC tanks, I'm sorry, RC tanks. Let's see all the tanks. Here is the expert builds. They don't have these anymore. Uh, they have something else that's like that. It's already built, but you got to put your own electronics in it. You'll see it when I get to the 2020s uh, catalogs. <clears throat> this is what they had out for those. <clears throat> and of course, Tamiya tools, which I hear that their screwdrivers really fit their, uh, what people think are Phillips screws better. They'd actually grip the head of the screw and you don't have a destroying of the heads, top of the heads with these tools from what I understand. You may have to buy a pair, but they're expect they buy a tool set. They're expensive, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> TTO two Bs. This is what they had out at the time. They had a plasma edge two, which was the normal one. You had to paint this card this color. This was the normal one. And then they had the black, uh, the plasma edge two black special, and the dual ridge. You had to paint this way. And then the dual ridge black metallic edition. That was a pre-painted body. I think this is the nicest looking of the dual ridges. And the Neo Scorcher, which some people mistaken as a top force, or no, uh, not a top force at the time, um, with a kind of a, a reminiscent of a Terra Scorcher, which came back out, but it wasn't out even for a year, and they stopped building, which I don't understand. People were looking forward to that model when it came out. And then we got the MF-01X chassis. Believe it or not, the Volkswagen, the Volkswagen uh, Beetle body is on the longest chassis. And then they had the Jimny and the Mercedes, which is uh, the G320 uh, Cabrio uh, Mercedes here, which was on the medium uh, length wheelbase, short wheelbase, long wheelbase, was the uh, Beetle. You know, a lot of people would, you know, I think you could take this body and you could probably put it on the CCO2 on its shortest uh, or medium length setting and it would fit it. And this body was more proper for double uh, for the uh, live axles because the body they have on the CCO2 now was the first time they had an independent front suspension on it. That body is not supposed to be a one with two live axles on it supposed to have an independent one but they put it on there anyways that's on the current Mercedes body and then you got the DTO3 <clears throat> the Neo Fighter buggy the green metallic edition this came painted <clears throat> and then the racing fighter the Neo Fighter buggy this is normal and uh, a lot of people seem to like the uh, Aquarius version of the DTO3s they were aqua, sorry, not uh, not what I just said, uh, the aqua shot. Some people have built this uh, and shown it running. People like this one uh, a lot, as far as I know. And those are the DTO2s. I mean, DTO3s. 
And here's a comical model. I don't know if they're still making this Honda City, City car. Uh, the WRO2Cs, the WO, and here's the here's the uh, WRO2G uh, for like they have a G on it, you know, for uh, farm use. I don't know why, but I guess it's garden. And they got the CWO1s, the CWO1s, which is here's the black uh, uh, black edition of the lunchbox which comes painted at the time they had that and then they had the uh midnight pumpkin metallic special which i saw someone recently got one of those i don't know if they're still making them anymore and then they got the normal one they say they've discontinued these but i i hear i've seen people be, i hear that people are still getting them in their hobby stores and here's the gfo1 chassis which is like these other two uh but they're four-wheel drives Here's the 125th scale of that mammoth truck. I don't think they're making that anymore. And then, of course, you got the Land Cruisers. You got a red body painted one that they made. I know a lot of people like these bodies for their crawlers. <clears throat> Here's the, the first Geo, uh, G601 the six wheel drive 18 scale vehicles and then you got the dfo3 chassis here this is dark impact they also they actually this chassis also was sold in this country with a total with white white chassis parts and chassis and white shocks they sold it here completely the plastic was completely white <clears throat> and then you got the DTO2 chassis. The DN01 one, which is actually different than the DTO2. The DN01s is is like the, the mild version of, I think, the, I could be wrong about this, uh, the TRFT01. But this is the tamer version of it, called it a hack also. Here's the XV01, <clears throat> one of the best handling rally cars they've ever made. Uh, and it's belt driven with front motor see and then uh, someone recently did the Asterion <clears throat> on, uh, on a video for it they put it together and they drove it which technically has the S10 body from like the TAO2 uh, pre-runner cars this is from that car from that long ago over 20 years ago I, that, I swear that's what that is, because that's an S10 body. <clears throat> and the Bruiser was back out, <clears throat> as you see. And uh, here's the full-time four-wheel drive uh, Hiluxes, uh, the Hilux and high lift cars. Of course, you can put these in any of these vehicles, this sound kit. Remember, this one... The Bruiser was the first to have a two-wheel drive transfer case where it would go into two-wheel drive when you put it in second and third. And first gear, it was four-wheel drive. And they uh, they said they lost. I don't understand how they did this, but, uh, well, there was a Toyota one, a Hilux. And it had, uh, it was lower center of gravity, pretty much the same chassis, but the suspension in the rear was different. The shocks were at a V angle. And they, uh, they had a pull-out at the rim in the middle. They had on both both rear and front, they had pull-out. We would turn it, and it would lock the diff and unlock the diff. I don't know why they said they've lost uh, the molding for that. I, I don't see how they couldn't remake it. I mean, I assume it's because of money, but they technically, I think they should remake it that way because that was cool because that's how cars were to get into four-wheel drive. You had to go outside and go to the hubs and turn them to make a full-time four-wheel drive. Um, and uh, I know they gotta have blueprints for everything they needed for that car. I don't know why they couldn't go back to the blueprints of the cars and make the mold again and, 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 the, and, and the pieces like that again. 
Here's the CR01, again with the FJ, Land Cruiser 40. If I were to get a CR01, which they're not cheap, they're over $300. I would get the rock uh, soccer because it has the lower center of gravity. It's less top heavy because of the body. Now here's the CCO ones at the time. I had an Azuzu Moo version of this, the low riding edition, with the big rims and chrome rims and wider tires, street tires. I hear that my Azuzu had a longer wheelbase than this one. I don't know how true that is, and this is a black painted body, and I personally think the Mitsubishi one was better looking. I had a hard body, this is a Lexan body. And here they have the Volkswagen Aramak, uh, Amarok, sorry, Amarok. I've seen this car, uh, we don't get this here, which I think is stupid. We, this car, pickup trucks are popular. I don't know why they wouldn't sell it here. Uh, I know that this car really has a double wishbone suspension all the way around on it but i've seen it tested on this uh website uh that's based in britain it's called wow and it, it's about uh, they test cars and they say if it's worth it to buy it and it's you know well this time every time they put it through a drag race against other trucks it always beat them to zero to 60 in, in a quarter mile quite funny every time they i've seen it videoed it always one so it accelerates quite well for what it is this body as you all know here the land feeder is back and it's on the uh tracks version of the tto2 chassis so this body is existing again with a slightly different kit to it uh for the body and then you got the toyota fj cruisers the ones i think they stopped making in 2010 2012 and here i had here's an isuzu moo and this is a limited edition one i don't know if this is a this could have been lexan but this is the body i had but uh hard body with my cco2 with the with the uh mitsubishi uh rims and tires on it and the suspension the shocks are shorter and then they got the cross-country chassis here of the of the cco1 of the unimog 425 Here's your semis. Here's the new semis that were out at the time. New dump truck uh, stuff to make the bed move. You know, I know a lot of people who don't like Tamiyas, but when it comes to their semis, they say if they were to buy a Tamiya, it would probably be a semi. They love their semis. They're, yeah, even, <laughs> yeah, as we all know, they're 14 scale and <clears throat> very scale. And they're not cheap. Some are over thousand dollars. Some are six, seven hundred dollars. And of course, the the uh, trailers are just expensive. Sometimes more than the kits. Here's some. Uh, <clears throat> here's the uh, MFC03 for the trucks, the semi trucks, uh, sound kit and stuff, and lights kit. And here are the hop ups for. The trucks that they show here. And here's the off road cars, the big wig uh, was still in limited production and it was still around at the time. And they had the two different clods and they had the Agrios. And a lot of people would love to see, well, this one came back. The Monster Beetle came back again, I think. People would like to see a lot of these up top ones come back. This one, I know, last year, I was uh, someone was still selling this in their hobby store. And I, one day, I hope to have the Blackfoot. And, of course, looks like they had the Egress still out in 2013. And the Wild, uh, wild One Off-Road. And they did have the super hot shot in 2012. I had this car back when it first came out in the 80s. It was called the super shot at the time. Loved it. Came with a Tecta Gold motor. I forgot if it was the VX, the VZ, or the SV. 
the uh, SZ, I forgot, or VZ, VZ or I forgot what, it, but there was a technical and there was two different types. One was faster than the other. Grasshopper 2. Well, as you see, this car has come back in a black edition. As you see here, the original one never had oil-filled dampers on it. They were all friction dampers. They just re-released the black, I uh, made a, a new black version of this, and it has all CVA shocks on it. So it's got oil-filled dampers all the way around now. And the stance looks better than this one. I hope to either have this or the uh, DT-01 of the, another car, the Fighter Buggy RX. I wish that should be my next car after I get my Hornet. One of the two, which one is available at the time, that's what I'll get. Uh, and we got these. Of course, the Avante. As you all know, I also have a grasshopper who watches my channel. Here's a... Uh, DTO2s. This was a popular kit. The Porsche. <clears throat> Here's the D versions of them. These are the bodies that were available for it in 2018, Volume 2. <clears throat> Here's a mix of TTO1s and TTO2 chassis and bodies, you see? You see this uh, white special kit for the TTO2? That was what the kit looked like for the buggy. They had an all-white chassis. Here they have it for the... Uh, for the on-road cars. Here's the FF03 and the TA07 Pro chassis. These were this chassis here is very expensive. It's up there. I mean, it's five six hundred dollars. As you see, it has a two uh, a single belt drive as they show, and you could change the position of where the motors are, uh, mid, a uh, rear mid and more front or center, or chassis balance. These front wheel drive cars. I had a, I had a FFO1 when they came out. <coughs> and it had a ball diff. Uh, ever since they continued to make the FF chassis, they've all come with ball diffs. They're really fun to play with. And here's the M07 concept chassis, which is a hodgepodge of stuff, but it had some new stuff on it. Uh, they, I think this is still out. It's not a cheap kit either. It has some TRF hookups on it and everything, and some really brand new type of parts that they wanted to try out. And here's when the TT, I think uh, they, uh, here's the second, uh, I think this is the first time they had the racing trucks. I could be wrong. These were popular for a while. As you see here, the MO5s. Uh, I think the year after next, the 2019s, they had a rally version of this, of the Citron. It had a, a taller suspension system, different tires, different look. This was uh, a nice, and it's 12 scale. Limited edition Volkswagen Golf. I've seen a video on it. Someone did a really good video with this one a while back. And you see the uh, F... 104 Pro 2 chassis for Formula One. Looks like it has a lot of TRF parts on it. And here's the T3, uh, T, uh, T301 uh, <clears throat> Dancing Rider. I personally think the one that came after this, the Dual Rider, is the much better looking one. But I hear they're very fun to play and with and race, and you can really get these things to move out, even though they're 8th scale. <clears throat> And we got the M06 chassis. <clears throat> got the 12th scale uh, low-riding Midnight Pumpkin. 
I don't know if you can find this kit anymore. I'm surprised I didn't see more people using those, uh, having those. Uh, showing videos, I have seen some, but I'm surprised it wasn't more popular because I would like to have that as well as the uh, original monster truck of it all. <clears throat> and I saw someone take a Valencia 07-035 body, modify this recently. <clears throat> well, I don't know how recently, not, uh, many months ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it had the longer shocks on it and uh, <clears throat> with this chassis, uh, 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 the 037 one, the Lancia, <clears throat> and they put it, actually it was the Stratos body, or the, I forgot if it was the Stratos body or the 030, I think it was the Stratus body, or the, uh, or the, I can't remember, I just saw it recently, I'm sorry, I'm babbling here. <clears throat> I think it was a, a, a Stratos body, or it was the 037 body. But in real life, those chassis had, th those cars had rear wheel drive, and someone made this rear wheel drive M06 into a rally chassis. It was really cool. With those bodies on it. And here we are, the expert build models. They had a lot of them back then. <clears throat> Here's a TTO2 uh, hop-up parts. Hop-up parts for the DTO3. TTO2 chassis parts, uh, uh, hop-up parts for it. This one, this one's, this one's got to be over a thousand dollars with all the stuff on it. Seems like all of this is on here. <clears throat> TTO one, hop ups. I'm sure a lot of these parts would also fit a TTO two because they're not that much different. And the M07 concept upgrades. As I think I've said before, this lightly tuned motor is faster than the 540 that comes with most of their kits. This actually, even though it's a 28 turn, it's tuned, so it's got degrees of timing and it's faster than that motor. <clears throat> MO5 and MO6 hop up parts. TAO uh, 7 chassis parts. As you see, they do make brushless motors for their cars. I just bought, I just got this car, this motor for my Hornet that's soon to come to me, the GT tuned. And of course, this is the back page with some uh, optional parts and kits on it. And uh, that is it. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks I will have the 2019 Volume 1 uh, catalog being shown. So if you like my subject matters, please subscribe and press the like button. Bye, YouTube.